Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're still in chapter 4, chemical equation and stoichiometry. And today we're going to focus still on 4.2, stoichiometry. But today is the last part which is 4.2, part 3. We're going to focus on percentage yield, theoretical and actual yield, and also perform some calculations involving excess reactant and percentage yield. Let's do some recap of what is limiting reactant. It is completely consumed and limits the amount of products formed and mole needed is more than mole available. Meanwhile, excess reactant is reactant that is not completely consumed in a reaction and remains at the end of the reaction. Ada baki-baki lagi. The mole needed, it is less than mole available. Now let's do some calculation. For example 1, 255 grams of copper 1 oxide reacts with 180 grams copper 1 sulfide according to the equation. So determine the limit limiting reactant and the mass of excess reactant remain. So first step kita macam biasa, kita ada equation, kita senaraikan dulu apa maklum benda yang kita sudah bagi and kita kena cari mole available for both reactants. So mole Cu2O available is 255 grams divided by the molar mass of Cu2O. You get 1.781 mole. That is the mole available for Cu2O. For Cu2S, the mole available is equals to the mass, 180 grams divided by the molar mass and you should get 1.2994 mole. Cu2 is available. Next, kita keluarkan air keramat kita from balance equation. 2 mole of Cu2O reacts with 1 mole of Cu2S. So, kalau ada 1.781 mole of Cu2O reacts with X mole of Cu2S. Okay, kita jadikan Cu2O sebagai reference. And then, kita darab silang. So, 2X equals to 1.781. So, X equals to 0 0.8905 mole Cu2S needed. So next, kita compare mol Cu2S needed dengan mol Cu2S available. Siapa lagi besar? So, kali ini saya pakai perkataan given lah. Sama aja kan maksud dengan available. So, needed kita 0.8905 mol. Given is 1.781 mol. So, kalau kita tengok, given is more than needed. So, Cu2S is excess reactant. And by default, kalau Cu2S is excess, then Cu2O is the limiting reactant. Okay. Now let's go to the second question. The mass of excess reactant remain at the end of the reaction. Jadi kita sudah tahu tadi excess reactant kita adalah Cu2S. Jadi ini adalah langkah-langkah untuk cari excess reactant punya mass yang baki-baki itulah. So first mesti ada find mole available dulu untuk excess and then mole needed dia. So mau cari mole remain adalah mole available tolak dengan dengan mole needed sebab of course, mole available lebih banyak daripada mole needed. Jadi, dia punya mass pula kemudian kita boleh cari menggunakan formula mole remain tadi, darab dengan molar mass. So, mole available untuk Cu2S, kita sudah kira awal-awal tadi, which is equals to 1.12994 mole. And mole Cu2S needed pun kebetulan kita sudah kira juga tadi dekat part A. So, kita just tulis balik 0.8905 mole. Kalau kita tidak terkira, so kita kena cari dulu tau from balance equation cari dulu berapa mole needed Cu2S tu ok tapi dalam kes ini kita sudah kira so kita just continue so mole remain sama dengan 1.2994 minus 0.8905 and you should get 0.2394 mole so that is the mole of Cu2S remain so mass dia adalah sama dengan mole tadi darab dengan molar mass of Cu2S and you should get 38.14 grams so that is the mass of excess reactant remain. So just follow these four steps, okay? Let's have a look at example 2. In a reaction, 15 grams of sodium metal is allowed to react with 30 grams of oxy oxygen gas. And that is the equation given. So the balance, by the way. So calculate the mass of Na2O produced. And then calculate the mass of excess reactant remain when the reaction has completed. So mari kita start. Always start dengan calculating mole given ataupun mole available. So for mole Na, 15 grams divided by 23 molar mass dia. So you should get 0.6522 moles. And then mole oxygen O2 given in the question is mass dia adalah 30 grams divided by the molar mass of O2 is 2 times 16. So you should get 0.9375 moles. So now we have both moles of reactants given. So from balance equation, 4 moles of Na reacts with 1 mole of O2. So 
let's say kita ambil Na sebagai reference kita so 0.6522 moles Na reacts with x mol O2 so darab silang so 4x equals to 0.6522 so x equals to 0.16305 mol O2 needed so next step kita compare mol O2 needed versus mol O2 given in the question so 0.16305 needed and 0.9375 given so conclusion kita adalah we have more than what we need so O2 is excess reactant and by default kalau O2 adalah excess maka Na is the limiting reactant so we are not done yet so the question is asking for the mass of products right so kita compare from balance equation 4 moles of Na reacts uh, produced sorry produced 2 moles of Na2O so 0.6522 mole Na that is the mole available by the way so produce x mole Na2O so kita darab silang so 4x equals to 2 times 0.6522 so x equals to 0.3261 mole Na2O produced we are not done yet so the question asking for mass so mass of Na2O produced is equals to the mole which is 0.3261 times with the molar mass of Na2O so you should get 20.22 grams so that is the mass of Na2O produced so walaupun soalan tidak minta cari limiting kena cari limiting juga dulu alright lepas cari limiting then you can compare the mole and you can find the mass of product so next, calculate the mass of excess reactant remain when the reaction has completed. So untuk cari mass, kita akan cari mol dulu. So mol excess is equals to mol given minus mol needed for the excess reactant. So mol O2 remain is equals to, okay, mol given and mol needed, we have calculated in part A. Okay, so, so mol needed is 0 0.16305. So the calculated guna from balance equation punya method. So kita ganti masuk saja. So 0 0.9375 mol given minus 0 0.1365 mol needed. Okay. If let's say kita tidak terkira benda ni dekat part A, kita kena buat dulu that step. So kita kena kira dulu moles of excess reactant yang needed. So dengan cara from balance equation tu lah. So in this in this case kita sudah dapat mol O2 remain which is 0 0.77445 mol. So untuk cari mass, kita darab dengan molar mass which is 2 times 16. So you get 24.78 grams. So that is the mass of O2 remained. So kita repeat, recap balik steps dia adalah kita kena pastikan ada mole excess reactant yang needed. Kita kena ada mole excess reactant yang given. Usually kita kira awal-awal sudah ni. Kalau tidak kira kena cari dulu. And then mole remain kita kasih tolak saja. And last kali cari mass remain. So the last part of this subtopic is percentage yield. So percentage yield is equals to actual yield divided by theoretical yield times 100%. Okay, so actual yield adalah amount of product that you actually get from the experiment yang betul-betul. Kalau theoretical adalah amount of product yang kita kira daripada calculation. Macam yang kita kira-kira sebelum ni lah. So mari kita tengok contoh soalan. Example 3. The combustion of potassium chloride, KCl, in excess oxygen gives potassium chloride KClO3 so ini adalah equation dibagi so if 10 grams of KCl used in the reaction calculate the mass of KClO3 produced and the percentage yield if the actual yield is KClO3 is 11.85 grams so kita sudah dibagi tahu excess oxygen maka automatic O2 adalah excess so limiting reactant kita adalah KCl tidak payah kira-kira lagi kan let's calculate the mole of KCl given so mole KCl given is equals to mass 10 grams divided by the molar mass of KCl and you should get the answer 0 0.134 mole that is the mole of KCl given so next kita kasih keluar ayat keramat kita from balance equation 2 moles of KCl produce 2 moles of KCl or 3 jadi if I have 0 0.134 mole of KCl I should have x mol of KCl or 3 it can be produced so kita darab silang so x equals to 134 mol KCl or 3 produced tapi soalan mau mass so mass of KCl or 3 produced is equals to dia punya mol 0.134 times with the molar mass of KCl or 3 and you should get 
16.434 grams. That is the mass KCLO3 produced. Next, the percentage yield of KCLO3 if the actual yield of KCLO3 is 11.85 grams. So formula percentage yield is equals to actual yield divided by theoretical yield times with 100%. So ingat actual yield ni adalah yang kita, yang dibagi tahu dalam soalan berapakah actual. Sudah dibagi tahu sini 11.85 grams. That is the actual yield. Yang theoretical yield pula yang kita kira-kira yang kita obtain from the calculation. So kebetulan part A sudah kira. So actual yield kita adalah 11.85 grams and the theoretical yield yang kita sudah kira tadi adalah 16.434 grams. So times 100% and the percentage yield for this reaction is equals to 72.1%. And remember mesti mass bahagi mass ataupun volume bagi volume. Now test your power with these two questions and pause the video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe if you like the video. Thank you.